Okay, so hi, hi guys, hi class. I am Teacher Audric, and our topic for today is conversion from Cartesian to polar coordinates. Okay, so now we're going to discuss on how do we convert from Cartesian to polar. Okay, so let me recall what the Cartesian coordinates are. So Cartesian. consists of x and y as the pair of coordinates. So in order to change into polar, let me discuss what the polar coordinates are. So these are the polar coordinates. So in order to change from Cartesian to polar, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem on the coordinates of the Cartesian plane. Okay, so now we have r squared equals x squared plus y squared. In order to find the r, we're going to apply the square root on both sides. So now, this is the r. In order to find the angle, which is the theta, first, what we're going to do next is we're going to divide y with x. Then, what are we going to do next is to use the inverse of the tangent on this quotient. Okay, so why a while ago y over x? It's because it is opposite over adjacent. So your y is the opposite, then your x is the adjacent. So in order to convert from polar to Cartesian first, now we have the given coordinates, right? So all we have to do to find the x, we are going to multiply with r, then we're going to find the cosine of the theta. So therefore, it is the value of x from the polar coordinates. Why? It's all because the value of cosine theta is equal to x over r. Your r is the hypotenuse and your x is the adjacent. So in terms of looking the y, all we have to do is multiply r with sine theta. So, this is how we find the y. In Why? Because in order to find the sine theta, we're going to divide the opposite over the hypotenuse. So, it is based on the Sokatoa concept. So, in order to apply into the example, now we're going to convert the given coordinate into the polar. So in order to find the r, we're going to square both coordinates, then find the sum of the square. Then what we're going to do next is we're going to find the square root on the sum of the squares. So what is 5 squared? It is 25. What is negative 12 squared? It is 144. Why, the, why it is positive? It's all because the negative is inside the parentheses. Then... Now, we're going to simplify what's inside the square root. So, the square root of 169 is 13. So, now we have the r. So, in order to find the theta, we're going to divide the y with x. Then, once we get the quotient, we're going to apply the inverse of the tangent. So what we're going to do is 
divide the angular measure we have got is 292. Why 292? It's because the coordinates lie in the fourth quadrant. So that is the approximate value of the theta. So now, we're going to convert from polar to Cartesian. So we're first, we're going to multiply 9 with the cosine of 60 degrees. So now, what is cosine of 60 degrees? It is 1 half. So we're going to multiply it with 9. Then therefore, it is 9 over 2. Okay. So how about y? We're going to multiply 9 with sine of 60 degrees. So what is sine of 60 degrees? So therefore, it is square root of 3 over 2. And we're going to multiply it with 9. So, we're going to multiply 9 with square root of 3 because the square root of 3 is the numerator. And we're going to copy the denominator. So, therefore, it is the x and this is the y. So, that's how we convert from polar to partition. Happy learning, guys. Thank you and God bless.